Cheers. What's up, Billy? Someone's complained about you staying at the vicarage. Why do that? One of the parishioners, a spokesperson for the congregation, apparently. Isn't it funny, eh, how some people take it upon themselves to just speak for everyone else? Mm. You know what they say about narrow minds and wide mouths, don't you? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, I'm coming over all deja vu. I should have seen it coming. Yeah. Perhaps you should. Oh, very helpful, Norris. What? I'm only agreeing with him. I just... I just hope that you know, most of them were on my side. So what happens now, then? Well, I've got to go and see him tomorrow. Oh, I'm not really in the mood for a party. I might, might head home. Billy, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. Do you want me to come here? You can't go. It's Sean's birthday. Exactly. You can't go running out on my party. Yeah, come on. Stay and have a good time. You can sort the bishop out tomorrow, can't you? I just can't believe that in this day and age, anybody will complain about two blokes living together. It's because I live in the vicarage. It just brings out the bigoting people who might just about tolerate it otherwise. Mm, it's all right. I'll find somewhere temporary tomorrow. Well, let's wait till we've spoken to John. It's weird, you know, he seems so open-minded when I met him. It's one thing being open-minded. It's another thing facing up to mutiny in the flock. I seem to spend half my life making sacrifices for people and never accept me for who I am. I know. I'll just try not to get too down about it. How can I not? Well, you can't just waltz in here and demand me cake. Yeah, oh, all right, I'm not demanding, I'm requesting. Uh, it, it, the answer's still no. Uh, it's not even yours. Billy's got grief of his parishioners, and someone's nipped me cake. Um, no offence, Sean, but I think I might head home. Well, can't blame you. It's hardly the party of the century, isn't it? In fact, I might follow you and have a cuppa. Actually, Pat and I were hoping to have a bit of quiet time together. It's all right. Fair enough. Sorry, love. <laughs> Had the life and soul of the party, are you? I can't stop thinking about who did the dirty on me. Okay. You've not got the headspace for it. Just focus on the positive. Mm. It's easier said than done. Have you literally got no idea? And if I did, I wouldn't be sat here. I'd be wherever they are, giving them a piece of my mind. Every time I do a service, I'll be looking out at the congregation, wondering which one of them's Judas. No way, you don't, you don't, you're not suggesting it. Oh, no, I, I'm not suggesting anything. He's just, he, um, oh, I didn't want to have to tell you this. Tell the truth, Sean. About what? Do you really hate me and talk that much? Of course not. I never thought you would stoop this low, not for a second. Turns out this one tried to sabotage our night at the hotel. Uh, you are? Yeah. Eva caught him calling up to cancel the room. The thing with the hotel was that it was just a, it was just a mistake. A, a, a mistake? Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking straight, and I, and, I, and I soon put it right. All right, well, that's fine then, isn't it, I guess? And if he's capable of that, what else is he capable of? I promise you, both of you, that I have not said a word to the bishop about anything. Right. You've got this all wrong. Being all nice to me earlier. Holding out the olive branch. Let's be friends. I haven't done anything, not this time. Thanks a lot. Call yourself a mate. You know, I don't think I believe a word that comes out of your mouth anymore. You're just a sad, bitter little man with too much time on his hands. 